Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to drop observations, variables, and subsets of variables in Stata. The best way to learn is just to get going, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load the Census 13 data set. And as you can see here, this is just a, it's a census data set. It has demographic information pertaining to the states. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to get rid of just a subset of observations. Let's say that I'm not interested in observations 5 through 10. Well, it's a very simple command in Stata. I would go ahead and drop uh, in 5 through 10. And 5 through 10 means 5 through 10 inclusive. So everything from... Um, so including 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it'll all get dropped. So if, like, let's say you wanted the drop to begin at 5, preserving 5, you'd have to do that. So just bear in mind that that's an inclusive drop. And when we go back to the data set, we see that, in fact, those six observations have been dropped. So there's a couple of other things we can do here. I want to show you about dropping an entire variable here. Let's say median age is something we're not interested in. Well, we would just type drop med age for median age. And going back to the data set, we see that it's no longer there. Let's go back, uh, refresh that data set, load it back into memory. And then I want to show you something that's probably more more advanced, more interesting. Um, dropping variables is is easy to do. Dropping observations is easy to do. You can use even point and click methods um, there. But where the code really starts to come in handy is if you have more advanced conditions for dropping variables. And so let's say that we're interested in region. okay? And we'll do a tab here. And we have northeast, north central, south, and west coded as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's say I'm only interested in, uh, in data from north central uh, and west. So in other words, uh, I want to get rid of northeast and south from my observations. That would be kind of a pain to do manually. And, you know, uh, if you also did that, you know, did that through point and click means there's a possibility of error, just misclicks or something like that. So let's look at the code for that. Um, if we wanted to drop everything just in region one, let's say, we would enter this command. But let's say that we're not interested in region 1 or in region 3. We would go ahead and enter this command using the separator over here to specify. Uh, now let's say that we were only interested in, uh, in, in dropping regions 1 and 2. We could alter this. So we could say drop if region is less than 3 because that would automatically get rid of 1 and 2. So I, I showed you this code here because in the real world, you might have to kind of, you know, um, go through your data set and find four or five different values of a category that you're interested in. And in real world coding, they might not be right next to each other. So you might want to know how to tack on multiple conditions. Uh, and th this is a quick example of doing that, you know, using the separator here. And if we go back in there, we'll see that uh, everything in the northeast and south was dropped from the data set, leaving us with just west uh, and north central. So finally, I want to show you that, let's go ahead and reload the data first. You can drop everything too. So let's confirm firstly that we have reloaded that data set. Uh, if we want to say drop all, you know, we'll just get rid of it. You could also clear it out or refuse to save it. But if, if you're just, for example, messing around with data and, you know, you want to delete the variables you worked on, drop all is a good command for that. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four 
of following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.